find out can, but not kangaroos, I guess. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting. I'm just glad everyone's safe. Yeah. You know? They were they were they were able to get them to safety. I know. Mm -hmm. yeah. And they can hurt you. You have to be so careful with those kangaroos. I mean, think about all these animal rescues we see. I yeah. mean, these animals, I mean, they, they don't do it on purpose. They're scared. Yeah. They're scared. And so that's a danger when they have to try to rescue them. Yeah. We saw a deer rescue the other day. It would they, a deer right. was in a lake, couldn't get out, or a storm drain or something, couldn't get out. And you know, look, it was going crazy as they were trying to rescue it because it didn't know what was happening. Yeah. Shout yeah. out to the first responders who have to deal with that, not just the other emergencies, but getting animals yeah. as well. All right, you guys, have a good, safe day. We're going to keep it going. You know, you have a lot of active weather that you were covering. We're going to keep it going here today on mm -hmm. America's Morning Headquarters. That is right. As we inch closer and closer to the next weekend, uh, very, very hot. That's the story. And stormy. Yeah. That's the other story as well. And it's like equally a lot of both. Right. <laughs> a lot. So we'll get you through today. We've got a great guest on the show today to help you look up at the... It's just this has, some, has, some, has had some staying power out there. I mean, we've been talking about this for the last several days. Yeah, especially those nights. Spending a lot of warm record nights lately. Mm -hmm. we'll, uh, we'll talk about all of it today. But first, let's scoop out the big deal from the 32 flavors of weather. Be Friday more storms. I know. I mean, we don't have to, but, but the atmosphere is going to. More thunderstorms. Again, Again, tomorrow for your Friday. Look at this, the same area. We are again looking at Montana with the risk of thunderstorms, some bringing in some large hail. We'll keep an eye on that. We take you right into Friday evening's forecast. Thunderstorms popping just south of Great Falls to the east of there as well. And those thunderstorms will bring some severe potential into the overnight Friday into early Saturday morning. Now we're going to keep it going into Saturday up here across the northern tier. And this is not untypical for the summertime, right? Because our jet stream is farther north. That's why it is so much warmer to the south the jet stream energy farther north and that's where we'll find a lot of the possible severe thunderstorms but there's still a chance of those thunderstorms as our jet stream kind of cuts down and a little bit of a troughiness over the east and that's going to extend the risk for thunderstorms possible severe weather as we get into your Friday afternoon through the Ohio Valley the mid-Atlantic into parts of the southeast look at all of this active weather we will see popping up showers and storms this will be affecting your drive this will be affecting your flights there could be flight delays on a Friday afternoon and evening and some of them could be severe it's certainly not a guarantee and you know maybe you see winds 40 45 miles per hour but even if it's not severe limits it still could do some damage I mean looking at some of these cells this is late Friday night Nashville area if you're out you don't want to be caught in one of those right look at North Carolina after days of heat mega heat really we're going to see thunderstorms here as we get into the overnight Friday to Saturday and that heading out to the beaches by Saturday morning in North Carolina but we pick it up on Saturday and we've got a very broad area with showers and storms yet again. We're going to keep it going with that chance through the weekend. Not necessarily a watch out, a washout, but Alex, you know how it is this time of year. It's literally impossible to predict exactly where a yeah. thunderstorm is going to pop and at what time. Be just because of the way the atmosphere right. works, there's nothing to steer, you know, you the said, storms around. I, I just go, I just go about it and say, it's going to rain today. I'm right. just prepared for that. And if it doesn't, all right, we escaped right. it, but yeah. yeah, just be prepared. Yeah. Like the horse here, who seemed to be prepared here in Washington for some of that rain that was coming down. He said, hey, you know what, I'm gonna seek some shelter. Get under this little, little roof area and try to stay a little dry. He falls into that, it seems like, not noticing the thunderstorm category <laughs> in our poll question yesterday. Right. <laughs> We asked you, with thunderstorms at night, do you enjoy them? Do you mm -hmm. sort of get soothed by the rain and storms? Or do you not even notice? Does it scare you? Something else. Um, of course, soothing yes, came up number one. Yes, that came out number yeah. one. Uh, comment, very good. Thanks so much for those comments. We appreciate that. Of course, some people enjoy funnel cakes. Uh, but funnel clouds, maybe not so much. Now, the family's heard this. Before. <laughs> so the creamsicle was the one we had to leave off, and we're feeling yeah, bad about that. We do feel bad, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that was definitely one in the tops, that is for sure. Yeah, this is all inspired by Alex's Pick City today, so <laughs> yes. before. So the creamsicle was the one we had to leave off, and we're feeling yeah, bad about that. We do feel bad, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that was definitely one in the tops, that is for sure. Yeah, this is all inspired by Alex's Pick City today, so stay tuned. Uh, that's Which was up. inspired by one of our producers, so, yes, uh, it's a fun one. All right, let's uh, get you into the out there. Um, very heavy rainfall was another big part of the story. And, of course, we had a lot of a lot of strong winds. Yeah, I mean, uh, you can see some of the issues that we faced here with power lines coming down. In fact, even in this hour, we still have people uh, dealing with uh, power outages here. So hopefully we can get that restored because it is hot in these areas, too. Yes, yeah. Low AC 
and uh, it's hot. That's a good point. So we want to take you through the different regions to show you what happened yesterday because some of you are wondering, wait, did I get severe weather? I mean, well, in Colorado, these thunderstorms certainly overachieved here. They really got feisty through the afternoon and early evening. Yeah, that caused some issues. You can see some of the reports on Lamar. You had a wind gust that got up over 70 miles per hour, uh, even a tornado that was spotted there as well in the uh, Junta, Junta area there. And uh, just a lot of issues to be faced here across the, the state of yeah. Colorado here. It was, a, it was a tough day. Even in Telluride, they had a mudslide over County mm -hmm. Highway 145, so the rainfall creating issues there. Then we go up to Montana where we had, again, thunderstorms that packed a punch with that threat for hail with some of these yesterday. Some of them big hail, some strong winds as well. Take a look at some of the reports over this area. Hail size in Zortman coming in at two and three quarters inches. That's almost lime size or hockey puck size. Yeah, very, very big hail and again big time winds as well we get 60 plus mile an hour winds the Fort Peck area mile city approaching 60 mile per hour wind so uh, it's been a couple of days a string of days of some big time storms pulling out of Montana and then sliding off off towards the east yeah. big storms here as well we saw that coming down through parts of the Ohio Valley and into the Carolinas yeah a number of these really packing a punch a lot of heavy rainfall it was a big part of the story mm -hmm. yesterday but we also saw some strong winds um, at the Cincinnati Airport in Covington we had 58 mile per hour winds there um, in Wallen, Indiana, near Fort Wayne, we had 8.5 or 8.85 inches of rainfall. That's a lot in of 48 rain. hours. That's pretty amazing to think about that kind of rain. And we talked about the power outages. We still have some of those here in parts of West Virginia, Kentucky, and Ohio. Hopefully, again, we can get that going soon so folks can get a, a bit of a break from some all, all of this heat. Now, the world's. You know, because there were people there camping. I hope it wasn't fireworks. I hope it wasn't fireworks. Yeah. Ugh. We've seen, I've seen too many stories this year yeah. of uh, just, just bad outcomes with fireworks. It seems like there's been above average of those kinds of stories. Hopefully you are safe um, and hopefully you are able to deal with all of this active weather that we've had as well between the storms and the heat. Mm -hmm. it's, it's like almost no one has been left out from something. Nope, we are all feeling it. So let's uh, first tackle that heat yeah. because it is uh, pretty widespread out there for us. We, we've got it in bunches. Yeah, it's hard enough to pick four. I mean, there's so many great ice cream truck treats, right? Especially on a day like this in Raleigh where temperatures are going up to a feels like a 108. Alex showed you that. Raleigh, bright sunshine, but things are going to change this afternoon, and you might be hoping to get a little bit of this rain, right? The problem is if it comes in too much or if it comes with severe weather. So I'm going to take you through the forecast today and show you what's happening here in Raleigh. We are going to be watching for a hot day. I mean, that's going to be thing number one in terms of what you're dealing with. But by about 4 o'clock or so, you'll start to see more thunderstorm activity developing. And so now we're looking at that chance for thunderstorms, 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock, and there's a lot of moisture in the atmosphere. That's a big part of why your heat index is so high. Dew points are up, and any of these thunderstorms could really put down some big, heavy rainfall, and that could be a concern for drivers, especially with the timing of all this coming in right around the dinner hour. Now, Knoxville, we've got a few thunderstorms this morning, just south of you, especially I-81 travelers are dealing with that, but we're going to watch for a lot more to develop across this whole expanse as we get into the afternoon and evening hours. A lot of this comes sometimes you right about sunset. You see the thunderstorms just start flaring up across the area. What we have on the map here for you is where we have the rainfall forecast and where we have the most energy in the atmosphere. And where those combine is where we're going to see the risk for some of these storms getting a bit feisty as we get into the overnight hours into tomorrow morning. We'll see some of those continuing, but we think that instability will be waning once we get late. But Atlanta, get ready. We'll see these storms. A stargazing in particular that's best done during the spring and fall months before and after each new moon. But you can still catch glimpses of these studded skies in the summertime. It's nice out, too. You kind of want to do something overnight outside, right? To talk more about it, we have how stargazers can catch these star-studded nights. What are we talking about? So, a girl... Oh, those apps, she's always looking at the sky with it. Uh, can you explain uh, any best places in the country that have sort of the best views of some of the stars and, and why that's the case? Yeah, I get asked a lot, where can I go see it? Tip, talking mm -hmm. about light pollution, too, because you know, a lot of times you don't have to go that far away. You just have to get away from your city lights. So um, is there still a way, though, to see the night sky when you do have some night light pollution to deal with? How much does it really impact what you're seeing? It really... Now, when we talk about the weather and uh, stargazing, what type of weather should we maybe look for uh, before we get out there to look up at the skies? So let's talk about what you need. Telescope, uh, binoculars, just using your naked eye. What is the best way to view what we see in our summer sky? 
Stop. Uh, I tell you, the apps have been so great for us, right? And that's another great app to use, uh, multiple apps to use to look at the night sky. Michelle Nichols, the, the director, we appreciate that. Again, yeah. uh, folks who are maybe novice or even the experts. Night skies yeah. can always just be beautiful. She made that so very accessible, right? To yeah, get outside everywhere. and don't. It, the telescopes are hard. <laughs> the top tenor in the Northeast, except Daytona Beach, fell in there. Huh. So that's why Daytona Beach was interesting. You would think it would be the opposite, that it would be the most of them would be in the in southern. South, tier, I would think right? so too, because you want a cold treat. Although, as I said last hour, I like my cold treats or I crave them a lot. When it's cold outside, I'm like, man, it's cold. I want some ice cream. Apparently, Canadians do too. They they like ice cream even more than we do. That's <laughs> so wild. <laughs> You're gonna wish for something cold today in Youngstown. Ice cream or not, it's mm -hmm. 86 degrees and no rain in the forecast. All right, enjoying the ice cream for the July 4th holiday weekend. The first legal ice cream truck purchase <laughs> in the city that occurred and of course everyone rejoiced was there like an underground like network I, they might have <laughs> that's a good question there probably was uh forecast calling for yeah you'll want your, your ice cream truck treats i mean by the weekend saturday 100 degrees oh boy mm. our question of the day is about these favorite ice cream truck treats we're asking you to vote and we also want to hear your comments because there were there's too many choices to put on our list for voting <laughs> there are so your comments coming in this one from she says yes <laughs> uh, frank, frank f he said if banana splits are wrong i don't want to be uh, right well, see we're thinking of those like treats maybe the kind that are like covered with a cookie crumble. oh that's true <laughs> And stuff it was yeah. it was bad extremes Ex more extreme now weather. we got yeah it's just yeah. one side to the other just kind of flipping depending on the season right yeah mm. well welcome back everyone we are glad to have you with us america's morning headquarters getting you through the mid-morning hours helping you plan for all of the big events ahead and indeed we head closer and closer to the weekend thanks for joining us here as we march our way through this thursday with more of that heat a lot of us are sweating it uh, to the 90s and triple digits a lot of us are also dealing with not just that but also the storms that have been impacting us and yes you get some thunderstorms Storms, but they don't come in until you know you've already spent most of your day right you're heat. already done and you're just like i'm yeah. so over this it is, it, right. it's too late almost they're not it's too late <laughs> to bring any relief right well we're going to scoop out the big deal from the 32 flavors of what
and get lone cells that can cause damage like this. Look at all the reports that we had yesterday. A lot of this is wind damage that we had here on our map uh, for our local storm reports taking out power. Still in Ohio, we have nearly 30,000 customers without power this morning. And we saw those really starting to crank up yesterday afternoon. So we've got that moisture, we've got that energy in the atmosphere yet again for us here from say the Ohio Valley down to the Carolinas, another little pop off here of storms from Missouri stretching up into um, Iowa. And there's a flash flood warning within it. You can barely see that because there's so much lightning kicking off for us to start the day. Maybe you're up early because the lightning woke you. I know it's frustrating. You know, you try to get back to sleep and you can't. It's definitely a problem. So there's Tennessee seeing a few showers making their way towards the Appalachians. And look at the humidity. You feel it when you go outside when the dew point temperatures are this high, especially into the morning hours. All the way up to Louisville, 75. You're going to walk outside and schwitz immediately. If you're a morning shower taker, you're going to be like, wow. I just shower. It was a waste type of a thing. Um, we wake up way too early. I, I have to shower at night because it's just too early for me to do it in the morning. Uh, so I got to get it all at night. So showers and storms today. Everything's going to kick off again. We're in that same pattern that we were in yesterday with the surface boundary and those winds coming over. And the daytime heating is a huge thing here. So we're going to see a lot of diurnal heating. And that means that around 3, 4 o'clock, that's when the radar is going to explode for us here throughout portions of Kentucky, South Carolina, Georgia. But you might not see a single cell today. It's going to be very scattered in nature. And then once that sun sets, which is still pretty late, even though our daylight hours are getting shorter, everything kind of washes away, though we have a little bit of energy in the Midwest that will continue tomorrow morning. The threat for flooding does continue for us. And it's not like a widespread event, Colleen. It's going to be some of those areas where it's just very localized. And hey, Steph, I'm, I'm with you. I like the rain here in Raleigh to cool us off. Yesterday, we had a high, a record high of 102. And it tied a record that was set back in 1909. The heat is actually going to continue. So are we going to see any relief from this in the form of storms? We'll get to that in just a minute. First, let's talk about our temperatures. Our average high in Raleigh is 91 degrees. So keep that in mind here, all right? 91, we're going to be well above that today. The heat in index today is going to be anywhere from 107 to 109. And remember, that's a temperature taken in the shade. When you're in the direct sunlight, it's going to feel even hotter than that. So as we work our way into our Friday, we still continue to see that heat even into our Saturday, but there is some good news. As we head into our Sunday and Monday, we're going to be 10 degrees below average on Sunday. We pop up a little bit closer to average as we head into our Monday, but we'll take it because it has been so hot that, you know, Colleen, 10 degrees below average is huge. Even just mm -hmm. 88 versus 91 is massive. Yeah, and then we have the the warm lows, the mornings. Yes, that that's just also a huge problem. Don't cool off. And I so know. you got the heat index, you got the warm lows. I know everyone's waiting for fall. I know. Already? I I'm, I'm still into the heat. I'll uh, take it. Oh, I'll gosh. take it. I know we have a couple heat lovers. These values, I mean, it's kind of hard to fathom when you get well over 110. These that are spelled exactly the same, but pronounced entirely different. So spell it out with me here. B-U-E-N-A. In Washington, Jordan, give it to me. But Yuna? Yuna. Buna. Yuna, Washington in the Yakima Buna, Valley. Washington. All right. So there you go into a Buna, Washington. We're actually pretty nice until we head into next week. Then our temperatures really, really spike up. It's going to be super hot there. Uh, maybe head to one of the uh, wineries yes. there. You can do that. That would be fun. But now we want to take you to Buena, New Jersey. And simple enough for a city that promises 44 miles of opportunity. And check this out. Jersey, uh, New Jersey is slated to be cooler. It's been cool in the Northeast, actually quite below average. We finally see our temperatures kick up a little bit also as we head into next week. So, Buna and... Buena. Buena and Buna. Buna. Okay, so Buna, funny. Washington, Buena, New Jersey. It's so funny how localized we are. Yeah. Yeah. Have you ever tacked and jived? I haven't. You haven't? No, I haven't. I've never sailed. I've always wanted to. Do it, Jordan. Oh, really? I and did like it. Duck and move. No, and it's pull. The, I was worn out in like five seconds. You, you know, know I was a like, big oh, sailor. let me do it. Let me try. J Justin Michaels is a. You ever tacked and jived? No, I have not. Okay, you guys got to wear you out. All right. Uh, the tropics already wearing me out with th through three names here in the Atlantic. Of course, Bonnie Tropical Storm then became a major hurricane from the Atlantic over into the Pacific. And here's a look at what we're watching now. It's really the East Pack that there is a lot of action in. If we saw something develop at home, it would be 
a boundary that kind of hangs off the coast and we see something spin up real quick. But right now, that's just not happening, which is great. And don't forget, hurricane season goes through November 30th. Here's a look at Bonnie, 90 mile per hour winds, a cat one moving quickly off to the west northwest at 14 miles an hour. And it's going to continue to lose its strength. One of the reasons it's going to cooler water, so that doesn't help it out. You can see it's looking pretty ragged. For a storm to look well and healthy, you want to have convection all around the center. There's no real uh, well-defined eye with this system. And you see a lot of other convection here off of uh, Mexico and Central America. So this area, 70% chance of development for us that we will continue to watch. But the good news is it is heading westbound so it'll be going into open water speaking of the water we have our water temperatures plenty warm for storms to develop i'm not liking the fact that the gulf of mexico is already raging hot and it's only july we still have august and then you get into september and there's a lag with how long it takes to heat up so that's not great news late august and early september is when we typically have our most uh biggest strongest most storms but you see all this shear out here is really keeping everything at bay colleen let's hope this keeps up